Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to try to fix this common problem for a Tesla 2012 to I think 2015, or maybe even higher than that uh, year-wise. Basically, all Teslas. This is a 2013 Model S, and um, recently I have noticed that the air suspension compressor has been working so it sounds like it's charging up you know the typical compressor uh, rattling um, pump noise and then about 20 30 seconds it it uh, reach the uh, full pressure and then it, it dispersed this whoosh kind of noise like a burst of air coming out um, and it just keeps repeating that and it's getting more and more often So I researched it on the internet and a lot of people are pointing to this particular device right here. Uh, this is a T connector that is, that this purpose um, is to allow this port here so that you can actually, if you need to put air into the um, system, you can actually use this valve or nipple to actually put air into it. But the problem right now is that I think because of vibration, etc., this has been shaking and it's been getting it loose. And uh, because of that, um, we actually are losing air all the time, leaking air, and we need to get this replaced. I'm, I'm not sure we can get a T connector, but I know for sure we can probably get a um, we can probably get a uh, an inline where it just connects this line right here to this line right here so that uh, we won't have that problem but that I'm not even sure about that um, hopefully I can actually try to uh, to get this part locally uh, from AutoZone or O'Reilly or something I can kind of hear the leaking here and if I move this I can kind of hear the leak air leaking a little bit you hear that so the leaking is definitely here and uh, I don't know how to exactly fix it um, probably need to replace this completely Yeah, so this is what's causing the uh, air suspension air to be leaking and compressor working way too too much or too hard. So need to get a replacement for this. Okay, so I am going to put the car into service mode. So basically go to service and then go to uh, safety and security maybe power off yeah sorry not service go to safety and security and then power off are you sure you want to power off put a place foot on brake to turn power back on yep power off okay so once we get this uh, car powered off we're gonna go out to the front and then try to drain the pressure of that valve okay I just uh, power off the uh, the car um, from the MCU and uh, I'm just going to try to press into this nipple to see if I can release the pressure okay it is discharging it's actually not very high pressure because there was no 
explosion or nothing dangerous here. I think the uh, the pressure is not like several hundred psi. Well, I don't know actually, but uh, it didn't seem to be high. Make sure you're wearing your eye protection uh, glasses while you're doing this to make sure that uh, it is safe. As you can see, I'm also using a tool to make sure that uh, I'm not putting my hand there. All right, so it looks like I'm pressing it. And I think that's it. That's all the air that is in there. So I'm gonna remove this bolt right here and see if we can disconnect this uh, part so that we can bring it to AutoZone or O'Reilly or something and then try to get the uh, similar part. Okay, that's a 10 millimeter socket. So we're gonna just gonna remove this. I just got the uh, T connector removed from these two lines right here, from this one and this one. So this used to sit like, like that. Um, just wanna share a tip here. Um, to remove this push to connect inline union or coupler, it's actually super easy. Uh, you're supposed to just um, put the uh, this, this particular collar right here this thing that is spinning. This one can spin and this one can spin also. You're supposed to just push it in towards the uh, center of the inline T connector. So you just push it towards this side right here. And while at the same time, pull the hose out. So you push the collar in and at the same time pulling this out. This side right here came out very easily. This side right here was super tough. So. What I did was finally, um, I couldn't pull it out still. I had to actually spin this around and around different orientation until when it's upside down, I was able to do the same. Like I said, push the collar in and then pull the hose out and it finally came out. But I was struggling with it for at least 10 minutes, wondering if something was stuck or if I did something wrong, things like that. But anyway, right now we're ready for a new union or connector these uh, hoses are still good i'm assuming that uh, they're not damaged in any case i'm going to be cleaning them and then the, we're going to be putting a new inline um, connector um, this these are quarter inch by the way quarter inch uh, air lines or air tubes i just replaced the um, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the valve here, or not the valve? The inline coupler. Um, I was having a hard time finding the exact replacement, so surprisingly, I found this from Home Depot or hardware store. Basically, it's a quarter inch coupling. Um, this is uh, obviously for home. Well, it really doesn't matter. I don't think. Uh, the pressure here is actually not that high, I don't think. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. So use this with caution, but this is quarter inch coupler, quick connect. It actually works. Um, so I sprayed some soapy, some soapy um, water and uh, it's not leaking. Before, uh, when this was used, uh, when I spray soapy liquid here, it was actually bubbling up. So I know that this is leaking and there was also some leaks on the top valve. So it's constantly leaking. So right now this issue has been fixed and um, it only costs, I believe this is $4.50 to fix. But the problem is I, don't, I no longer have a nipple or a valve that I can put in air. Um, not sure how necessary that is but uh, so I'm just gonna keep this original parts in a plastic bag and label it um, along with the screw and the plate. Where's that plate? There's a plate that uh, came with it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep all that as original parts and um, oh yeah, here's the plate. Okay, so these are the parts that is uh, extra 
um, not extra, but I'm not going to use anymore. There used to be a um, valve stem cover that is black colored, but I cannot find it. So I'm just going to substitute it with my um, green cover. It's the same. And uh, that's it. Um, so just want to show anyone who is having the same problem with the uh, air leaking from this particular location here if you have an old tesla like i said this is tesla model s and uh, so you can do this repair yourself pretty easy and um, if you have any comments questions uh, please leave it below i am going to actually put a link in the description for the parts that i use uh, here actually i'm going to put the link where you if you can you can actually buy this from amazon um if you don't want to go to to a hardware store yeah so so six uh, i think this is a successful repair probably save two three hundred dollars just for this particular repair alone yeah so thank you for watching uh please give it a thumbs up if you feel that this content has been useful and um and share it to whoever uh, you think that uh, may benefit and uh, please subscribe to my channel for future um, problems or fixes that I may do for Tesla and uh, other cars. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.